Como Park Zoo and Conservatory is proud to present the Bison Herd. Ashley, is that you? We can't film a lesson like this. You're gonna have to take those layers off. I'm cold. What? I'm cold. I wish I was a bison. Well, you're not. Now let's get to work. The second graders are waiting. Fine. Hey, St. Paul second graders. It's Ashley here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. As you can probably tell, it's winter time here. Some of our animals prefer to stay inside during the winter months, like our giraffe and our zebra, but other animals really enjoy being outside in the snow, like our bison herd. Let's do some introductions. I'd like you to meet Bogo, Aunt B, and Yellow. Bogo is the only male bison and is the largest of the three. He is nine years old and he loves smashing watermelons with his head. Aunt B is the smallest of the three. She is Bogo's mom and gave birth to him here at Como. Her favorite food is corn on the cob. Yellow is the oldest of the group. She is missing the protective covers on her horns so they look smaller than Bogo and Aunt B's. Yellow is always happy when she gets to play with a Christmas tree. So you might be wondering, how are my bison buddies able to stay outside all winter long? Well, bison are actually native to Minnesota and they are able to survive the cold winter months using special characteristic called adaptations. Let's take a closer look at some of those adaptations now. Just like we put on more layers in the winter, like jackets, hats, and gloves, so do bison. They develop thick fur coats that help protect them from freezing temperatures. A bison's fur is so good at trapping heat close to their skin that when snow falls on its fur, it will not melt. Their furry coat keeps them warm in temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees. For you to stay that warm, you would probably want to wear your coat your classmate's coat, and your teacher's coat all at the same time. Not only does their fur get thicker, their skin and their fat layers actually grow thicker as the winter months get colder. In order for them to grow more layers of fat, they need to eat more food. And for a bison that weighs in over a thousand pounds, that's a lot of food. Bison are herbivores, so they like to eat plants. Here at Como, they get special diets made up of hay, like they're snacking on now. They also get little biscuits called hay biscuits and a type of pelleted food that has lots of essential grains, keeping them nice and healthy. They also get treats sometimes like fruits and veggies. They really like carrots. So let's see if we can have one of our bison come up and snack on a carrot here. Looks like they're really enjoying their hay, but we'll see if we can catch their eye with one of our carrots. Let's see, oh, I think Bogo's coming. I think he sees it. Let's put it up here. There we go. Well, that's a really big carrot. He's gonna have to work for that one a little bit. Good job. He's really strong. He can use those teeth to pull the carrot through. I'm gonna come up here with it and see if he'll eat it that way. There we go. Now each day our bison have to eat about 25 pounds of food. That's like you snacking on a hundred hamburgers a day. Wild bison spend most of their day finding and eating prairie grasses. In the winter time, those grasses will actually be covered in snow, but the bison can use their huge head and thick neck to actually push that snow off of the grass, almost like a shovel. They can actually move up to four feet of snow with just their head. That's enough snow to cover you from your pom-pom to your winter boots. Bison don't just survive in the winter, they enjoy it. They find ways to play outside just like we do. Let's take a look at Yellow, Bogo, and Aunt B playing in the snow.
so much fun to watch. Makes me want to jump in the snow myself. Ashley, wait! Oh yeah, hope you had fun today. Share what you learned with friends and family, and don't forget to come visit Como and see our bison herd. Also, make sure you bundle up. See you later.